In this problem from China's Gaokao, which is college entrance exam, we are given A and T positive. Try to compare two quantities here of logarithm. This is regarding the property of logarithm inequality. Alright, so first, it's important to review if you have base A, it really depends on the value of A. So in the case of A positive but less than 1, the function is decreasing as x increases. So that's kind of what the curve looks like, right? When A is less than 1. However, when A is greater than 1, like for example, base 10 or lateral log, you know, base E, we have strictly increasing function. So that's the foundation for this problem. So once you clear this concept, then the problem is easy. Another thing we need to know is about what is called AMGM inequality, which states that the arithmetic mean is always greater or equal to the geometric mean. In this case, we're concerning with two number, T positive number and one. So we have this inequality. All right. So that's the necessary background to solving this uh, Gaokao uh, math problem. All right. So again, we need to compare these two quantities, right? So notice that half of logarithm is actually the logarithm of the square root. That's another property of that, right? So here we have half of log equal log of square root of t. Now, of course, square root of t and the other component, t plus 1 over 2, we have the results from am, gm inequality. So with this, we know that the answer to this question really depends on the range of a, right? So a is not equal to 1 because when a equal to 1, the logarithm is not defined. Okay, that's another important fact. All right, so let's answer this problem. So when case number one is when a is less than one, we know that logarithm is decreasing function. So in this case, we know the first quantity is bigger. Now the question is when the equality holds. This is when you know t equal to one. You know, both any t equal to zero. Now the other case is what if a is greater than one? Right, then in that case, logarithm is an increasing function, in which case we flip the sign here, the first quantity is smaller. Again, the equality holds when t equal to 1. All right, so this is a very reasonable problem in the college entrance exam, and hope you um, understand the steps, be able to solve a similar problem uh, to this one. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel.